In this video, we're going to take a look at writing quadratic functions in vertex form by completing the square. A couple things that will be good to know first off is what vertex form is. Remember, vertex form is f of x is equal to a times x minus h, that quantity squared, plus k where h and k is our vertex. So if we can get it to look like that, then we'll be able to easily pull out the vertex of our quadratic. Then completing the square, remember what we would do when we're completing the square is we're going to add b over 2 squared to both sides of our equation. That's what we would typically do. But when we're working with uh, function and we want to get it into vertex form we don't really have two sides we just have one so rather than doing the same thing on both sides to maintain the equality what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add b over 2 squared and then I'm gonna subtract it again so let's look at how that's gonna work alright so this first one what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna just kinda pull this apart and I'm gonna start with my variable stuff right here and I'm going to put that in parentheses then ultimately I'm going to factor that into that perfect square and then I have my constants on the outside because remember when we're completing the square we set it up so that we have the variables on one side constants on the other so this is the equivalent to that as we go here okay so then I want to add b over 2 squared to both sides well first thing I gotta find my b there it is negative 6 so I'm gonna add b over 2 well my b like I just said is negative 6 over 2 squared now I added it there so I'm gonna subtract it on the outside to undo that adding it so I'm gonna subtract negative 6 over 2 squared on the outside okay so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do some simplification here and this is gonna be x squared minus 6x then negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 negative 3 squared would be 9 so plus 9 so I'm really adding 9 and then subtracting 9 out here so minus 2 and then this is also 9 so minus 9 okay then the reason that we completed the square is because now this factors into a perfect square which is just what we're looking for for vertex form so we have x minus 3 squared okay remember when we complete the square it's gonna factor into x plus b over 2 squared okay that's why we do that so there's that b over 2 thing showing up and remember my b over 2 was negative 3 so x minus 3 squared and then on the outside we've got negative 2 minus 9 which is negative 11 okay so my function in vertex form f of x is um, the quantity x minus 3 squared minus 11 then of course I can pick my vertex out of there and my vertex in this case would be 3 because remember the form is minus h so it's a positive 3 there is my h and then k minus 11 so that's gonna be like so so there's my vertex okay let's take a look at this next one it looks a little bit scary because we've got a fraction there but it's gonna be the same story okay we're gonna start by pulling it apart a little bit so that we can add in our b over 2 squared piece so x squared minus 1 half x pulling it apart on the outside we've got the plus 1 I gotta figure out what my b over 2 is okay well my b is right here negative 1 half so I'm gonna add negative 1 half over 2 squared okay and then on the outside I'm gonna subtract negative one-half over two squared now negative one-half over two that might scare you a little bit but remember maybe if I write it like this it will help 
If we go negative one half divided by two. Oh, okay. So I would just do keep change flip. So it becomes negative one half times one over two. Then I do that multiplication. I end up with negative one fourth, which I'm going to square, and that's going to be one sixteenth. Okay. So this whole thing right here becomes one sixteenth. So x squared minus one half x, then plus one sixteenth. Then on the outside, it's one minus one sixteenth. Okay. Then we know this thing is going to factor into x plus b over two squared, and my b over two. Remember this piece right here was negative one fourth, so it's going to factor into x minus one fourth squared, and then. 1 minus 1 16th, well 1 is 16 16th, so minus 1 16th would be plus 15 sixteenths. Okay, so then again I can pick out my vertex, and that g of x is still there of course. I um, can pick out my vertex, which in this case is going to be that 1 fourth and 15 sixteenths. Okay, so sometimes we do get things that are fractions, but those are certainly valid as well. All right, then let's try this one up over here. Now, this brings in something else that is important to remember when completing the square, and that is we have to have the coefficient of the x squared term being 1 before we can complete the square. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to look at this piece, these two with the x terms, and I'm going to see what I can factor out of there. And I have to factor this 3 out. So essentially I'm just dividing it by 3. Works out nicely in this case. So 3 times x squared minus that 6x divided by 3 is going to be minus 2x. I'm going to leave some space here, and then minus 15. Now, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. We have to be careful. I'm going to add b over 2 squared, just like I've done in the past. So plus, in this case, here's my b. Okay, don't go back there. Right there is my b, negative 2. So it's going to be negative 2 over 2, and then I'm squaring that thing. Okay, now, what did I really add? Well, what I really added was 3 times that thing, because remember, we could distribute that 3 back through there. So I have to remember to take away 3 times that thing on the outside. Okay, So again, that 3 sitting out front there is being multiplied by the stuff inside the parentheses. So I have to multiply 3 by the thing that I subtract as well. Okay, so negative 2 over 2 squared. All right, then. Now it's time to just do some cleanup. So we've got that 3 coming along. Then x squared minus 2x. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared would be positive 1. Then on the outside, we have negative 15. And then this would be that positive 1 again times negative 3 would be negative 3, like so. Then, <clears throat> this thing is going to factor, so we have 3 to that perfect square, which is x minus 1. Okay, again, it's the b over 2 piece. In this case, my b over 2 was negative 1, so there it is, squared. Then, negative 15 minus 3 is negative 18. Okay, so then, here's my h of x, in vertex form and my vertex would be 1 negative 18 in this case alright then let's look at one more of these in this one we've almost got one for our coefficient but not quite so in this case I have to pull out a negative from the x terms so I'm gonna have a negative here and then it's gonna be x squared plus 3x, because I just divided by negative 1 there, leave some space for my b over 2 squared piece, and then plus 12 on the outside. Okay, so now here's my b, so it's going to be plus 
b over 2, which would be 3 over 2 squared. And then on the outside, remember, it's actually that negative 1 times that thing. So I've got to subtract negative 1 times that thing on the outside. Okay, So be careful with your signs there. We've got a lot of different things going on, but we'll get it figured out. Okay, so then that negative sitting out front, you can just write it as a negative or a negative 1, x squared plus 3x, then 3 over 2, well, we can't really simplify that, so we're going to square that, 3 over 2 times 3 over 2, multiply top and bottom would be 9 over 4, okay, then plus 12, and then here we have this thing is 9 over 4 times negative 1 is going to make it negative 9 over 4. Then it's minus that, so it's actually plus 9 over 4. Okay, I'll go through that again really quick just to, to show you. So 9 over 4 is this piece. Then times negative 1 makes it negative 9 over 4. And then we're subtracting it, so subtracting a negative ends up being plus. Okay, a lot of stuff going on there, but I think you got it. Then, this piece factors, so we have negative x, and then that b over 2 piece, well remember b over 2 was 3 over 2, so it's plus 3 over 2 squared, and then outside 12 over 4, well, got to get a common denominator, be 4 multiplied by 4 top and bottom, this is 48 over 4. 48 plus 9 would be 57. So 57 over 4 on the outside there. Then I'm going to throw my f of x on here since I'm done there. And so then I could pick out my vertex. In this case, it's going to be negative 3 over 2 because it's plus. And remember, the form is minus. And my y coordinate or my k in this case is 57 over 4. All right. Writing quadratic functions in vertex form by completing the square. What we want to do is rather than adding b over 2 squared to both sides of the equation, what we're going to do is add it and then we're going to subtract it on the outside. And we have to remember when we complete the square to have that coefficient of the x squared term being 1. So sometimes we've got to factor out, and then we have to be really careful remembering that we're actually multiplying by that number on the outside. So we have to multiply what we subtract by that number as well. Once we get to the vertex form, then remember we can pull out our hk, which is our vertex. Hope this video is helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.